Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so let's see how we can deploy this incident response playbook. So we can deploy it through this particular GitHub link. I will mention this link in the description of the video. So from here, uh, you don't need to do much. You just need to hit deploy to Azure and it will ask you some certain option and you will be straightforward. We'll be able to deploy it. Uh, like I said, there are manual option. You can create this particular playbook uh, like, you know, uh, these particular steps you can take. So, you know, there's a trigger, then there is a, you know, open AI URL, then API key, then, you know, all these certain steps, you can you know, design it manually as well. If you don't have access to, you know, GitHub on you know, certain scenarios. So that's the way you can deploy it manually as well. Right now we are going to deploy it through this particular GitHub link. So like I said, similarly, uh, we can hit deploy to Azure. And it will ask you to authenticate ourselves. Uh, let me just do that. And simply it will take you to take you to the deployment page uh, where you need to certainly select your subscription, your resource group, and you know other uh, some parameters of like name and region. So I will select my resource group. I will put it in East US. You can put it wherever you want. I can give it a name simply and I can hit on next. That would be review or create. So now uh, it will it will validate uh, you know all the information and once it validates you will get option to create. Simply from here you can create it. So it takes a little bit of time. That's why I've already already created it for you. So simply you can go to your Azure portal and you know simply you can search for logic apps. So once you will search for logic apps, you will find it. Uh, sitting uh, there uh, so just a second i clicked on the wrong uh, option so if you can search logic apps here and it will give you this particular option you can go there and you, you should see your you know playbook or logic app sitting here so basically i mean uh, i have discussed in my uh, azure sentinel series you know how this automation works with you know playbook and you know the like the, like the logic apps so basically playbooks are nothing they, these are you know logic apps in the in the you know back end so basically if you search for logic apps you will find your uh, playbook here okay so once the deployment is done you can search it uh, in your logic apps so simply you can search it for logic apps within azure portal and you will find that logic app sitting in here so Right now, we are going to discuss some important point which we need to configure in this particular playbook to make it work. So basically, if I open uh, this in a separate uh, uh, like tab, and if I go to Logic App Designer, you will see some you know similar kind of a playbook which we just uh, saw in the starting of this video. So uh, it is the same flow for 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 the playbook which we need to define. But again, I mean, we need to connect this to our open AI URL and API key, first of all. So that's the two basic thing which we need to do here. So first of all, uh, you will authenticate your user like for Microsoft Sentinel. So whatever user have access to your Microsoft Sentinel because it will be connected uh, to your incident. So first of all, you need to uh, build your connection with your particular uh, user who has access to Microsoft Sentinel. The next and most important step that you need to provide uh, this value like this is Azure OpenAI URL, the URL which I showed you. So basically a little bit you need to make this URL. I will show you how. So this is the format you are going to get that you know this URL has, URL has to be in this particular format. So what things you need to change your resource name, right? So this is the name of your Azure Open AI instance. So I have replaced my Azure Open AI instance with this name. Okay. The second and the last thing you need to add your deployment name. So basically the deployment types we discussed. So whenever uh, you will create a deployment type, type, you have to give it a name. So that's the same name you have to give it here. And your URL will be completed. Sim uh, similarly, you can take this URL and paste it here. So that's the first most important thing which you need to do. Second thing is the API key. We already discussed that, that where you can find this API key uh, within, you know, cognitive services within Azure OpenAI services within, you know, endpoints. 
you can find this particular key simply you can take it and copy paste it here so these are the two main steps which you need to do to make it work right now we have you know uh, done that after that i mean these are the you know same flow which we talked about uh, one another thing you need to do uh, you need to go here in this you know sentinel add comment to incident uh, you know a uh, step and again you need to authenticate this with your particular user whoever user has the access to your sentinel instance ideally this would be same in all the steps whenever you you have requirement to you know do something related to microsoft sentinel similarly there is a step here to add kql suggestions so for each add kql suggestion so add task to incident so similarly you have to authenticate your user here as well and third one also like we already discussed it is going to add you know like mitra framework uh, description again you need to authenticate because it is going to do something automatically within your sentinel portal that's why you you need to authenticate your connection or you need to authenticate your user you can use your managed identity and all that stuff as well that you can you know uh, decide based on your uh, best practices and you know your requirement but right now I'm, i am authenticating it with my particular user so these are the main you know technical important things which you need to do if you know after you deploy that particular playbook or logic app from the github link which i will share in the description of this particular video so you need to provide your uh, open ai url uh, how you can make it i already showed you you need to provide your authentication key and whenever uh, is required you have to authenticate with your particular uh, sentinel user so here here and here three steps are there and fourth one is this so yeah this is basically how you can create that particular logic app playbook whatever you want.